What's up, guys? Renjita here, representing Red Venom Corp. And today we're starting a countdown to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Five Days of Marvel, X Men Legends, X Men Legends 2, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 until Friday, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 for Nintendo Switch, and every game will be dropped to 4K, except for the Nintendo Switch version, of course. But yeah, X Men Legends 1 today. Don't forget to like, sub, share the videos, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you like this game, and I'll see you guys out later. Peace. Today on RVN World News, we examine the growing mutant menace. It's a concern of worldwide proportions. This scene took place in Russia two weeks ago as a young mutant stood in defiance of the military. And in the Far East, the authorities attempted to quell an uprising at a mutant camp, but they had little success. We interrupt this newscast with a breaking story. A young woman named Allison Kressmere was identified as a mutant. The Genetic Research and Security Organization is now responding to that report, but a mob has formed and tempers are flaring. Help! Somebody help me! Mom! Mom! I'm not a mutant! I swear I'm not! Mom! Grab the girl and get out of here! Get out of my face! Come in, you! Mind if I cut in? Time you freaks learned a lesson. Sweet dream sucker. Learned a lesson. Am I playing too rough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Time you freaks learned a lesson. You ain't getting that. Now I'm really ready for a scrap.
Hey, Wolverine. What are you waiting for? Come on! What's going on here? <laughs> You're finished, Mystique. Give up. Fool! You think I came here alone? I will annihilate you! Oh, you're lucky you're still breathing. You are destined to lose, X-Men! Run while you got the chance. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. You're one of the mighty X-Men! <laughs> I will annihilate you! Get over here, or I'm done! to lose X-Men. Get over here, or I'm done! Game's over, X-Men! You ain't getting up from that. You are 
destined to lose X-Men. I'm the best at what I do. I need more power to do that. Wolverine, someday, some way, I'll see you die. You're done, darling, and I ain't even broken a sweat. Where's Blob taking the kid? She's ours now, Wolverine. You'll never see her again. We'll get her back, Mystique. Even if we have to cut down each and every one of you Brotherhood psychos. What's so special about her? The Crestmere child has her uses. You always got some plan brewing, don't you, Mystique? It's time to save Allison. You'll never catch Blob! <laughs> Hey, Wolverine. Yes. Who's next? This isn't over. Just what I needed. The game's over, X-Men! Next? I will annihilate you! Don't take another step closer, Blob. Try and stop me, Queen Buff! I thought you had combo! You're supposed to be good fighters! Combo! I don't have enough power. Ho 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 ho! I don't have enough power. This is easy as pie! I need more power to do that. It's making me hungry! Combo! This is easy as pie! Combo! You X-Men could stand to gain a few pounds! 
Good work, guys. Now get Allison to the X-Jet. I'll meet you there. Got it. Okay. I'm on it. The game's over, X-Men! Ha! You were pitiful! This isn't over. so tough. The game's over, X-Men! Just what I needed. Combo! Got it. I'm the best at what I do. This isn't over. You are destined to lose, X-Men! Who's next? I will annihilate you! I'm the best at what I do. Get over here, or I'm done! I'm on it. 
Got it. Who's next? Will do. Got it. Why is all this happening to me? Allison, it's okay. Things were fine until last week. I got mad at my little brother and suddenly the ground started to shake. I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to admit it. Your powers are becoming active, which... Things have only gotten worse. That lava in the street? I made it happen. I'm becoming a mutant. There's nothing wrong with... And that woman? She was gonna make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Any time! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men. Professor Xavier, I'd like you to meet Allison Crestmere. Hello, Allison. Welcome to the Institute. How are you? A little confused, but I'm okay. That's understandable. Perhaps Jean could take you on a tour of the mansion, or would you prefer that I show you the true purpose of the Institute in the sub-basement? I'd like Jean to show me around. It would be my pleasure. As you move from room to room, I'll give you a little information on the X-Men. Once you're done with Jean's tour, come back here and I'll show you the sub-basement. Lead the way, Allison. Did you have a question, Allison? This house is too cool. Who owns it? The Xavier Mansion is owned by Professor Charles Xavier. Once it was his family's estate, but he had bigger plans. Looks as if it hasn't changed since it was first built. Oh, it's had quite a bit of remodeling over the years, but we're very fussy about keeping things as close to the original design as possible. This place is huge. What kind of things are here? The mansion has dormitories for the students, The mansion has dormitories for the students, a swimming pool, a library, and a huge lawn should you feel the need to stretch your legs. Who's Professor Xavier? Professor Xavier, or Professor X as some call him, is the founder of the X-Men, but perhaps more importantly, he's a teacher. What subject does he teach? Humanities. He's trying to help mutants and non-mutants learn that they can live together peacefully. So, Professor Xavier's a mutant too? Oh yes. <laughs> He's the most powerful telepath alive. Thanks. I'll ask again if I need more info. Welcome to the Xavier Institute, Allison. This place is huge! What is it? 
This is the Xavier Institute. A school for mutants? I, I didn't know there was such a thing. The fact that the students are mutants is kept secret for everyone's protection. In addition to being a school, the mansion is also home to the X-Men. Cool. I've heard of the X-Men. What room is this? The library is one of the most popular rooms in the house. There's a wide variety of literature here, from Shakespeare... What room is this? What room is this? The library is one of the most popular rooms in the house. There's a wide variety of literature here, from Shakespeare to comic books. It's an interesting mishmash of styles, kind of like the X-Men. Who are you? My name is Jean Grey, and I've been an X-Man most of my life. Today, in New York City, were you talking to people with your thoughts? Yes. My mutant abilities deal with telepathy and telekinesis. You're telepathic? I have the ability to read minds and communicate mentally. And telekinesis means you can list stuff with your thoughts, right? Exactly. I've grown quite powerful at it over the years, but I doubt I'll ever master it. Thanks for the info. This is the sitting room. It's a great place to kick back and relax. Needless to say, this room doesn't get a lot of use by the X-Men. This is the first floor elevator. From here you can go to the second floor, or the sub-basement. I'll skip it for now. In an old house like this, I bet it's just full of cobwebs. You'd think that, wouldn't you? This door takes you to the backyard. A little later, you'll have to go out and see the swimming pool. This is the day room. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. An underground level? Oh yes, but I'll leave that part of the tour to Professor Xavier. Believe it or not, we do take the time to sit down every once in a while and have a meal together, just like any other family. I can't picture any of the X-Men actually cooking a meal. You haven't lived till you've tasted Pete's barbecue or Betsy's Cornish Inn. This door leads to the front. Really? My two favorite things are reading romance novels and writing in my diary. I can see we're two of a kind. Later on, we'll have to get together and swap books. The second floor of the mansion has bedrooms for many of the X-Men. Feel free to wander around and look in the rooms. This is the second floor elevator. From here you can go to the first floor or the sub-basement. This is Rogue's room. You'll like her. She's a bit of a wild child. She tends to get into trouble? Well, Rogue did a few questionable things before joining the X-Men, but she's proven herself to be an invaluable member of our team. If you don't mind me asking, what can she do? It's a bit complicated, but her power deals with direct skin contact, which is why she always wears gloves.
Aurora Monroe lives here. Her mutant abilities allow her to control the weather, which comes in handy with her favorite pastime, gardening. Aurora? What a pretty name. Her code name is Storm. She takes over as leader of the X-Men if Scott Summers isn't around. Bobby Drake stays here. His code name is Iceman. Let me guess. He makes ice. He can freeze almost any object instantly. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. He's a real charmer. This room belongs to the ultimate man of mystery, Wolverine. Although he's a bit rough around the edge. This is the home of Peter Rasputin. He's pure Russian from the top of his crew cut to the bottom of his size 18 feet. You'd never believe a body of steel could house such a gentle heart. This room belongs to Scott Summers. You met him in New York, the guy with the optic blasts. He was the very first X-Man, and he's the team leader. Oh yeah, I remember him. He's kinda cute. And he's kinda spoken for. Oh, I, I didn't mean to. This is my bedroom. I've lived here off and on since I was a teenager. The X-Mansion is pretty much the only real home I've ever known. This is your room, Allison. If you... I'm not sure if I want to learn about them. After what happened in New York, maybe it'd be best if I never use them again. But Allison... I suppose you're right. Still... I don't know. This is Hank McCoy's room. We call him Beast, but not as an insult. You'll find out why when you meet him. To look at him, you'd never guess he was such a bookworm. Did you have a question, Allison? I'm done with the tour. If you're done with the tour, go back to Professor Xavier's office. He'll want to take you on a tour of the sub-basement. Thanks. Hello, Allison. Are you ready to see the true purpose of the Institute? Why was I brought here? You were brought here for your own protection. The people who attacked you and... So they could come after me again? Perhaps. Which is why it would be best for you to stay at the mansion. At least until we determine exactly why the Brotherhood attempted to kidnap you. Could you take me on the sub-basement tour? Yes, indeed. You see, a majority of this facility is underground so as not to attract the attention of those who mean ill will towards mutant kind. 
It features state-of-the-art training equipment that helps prepare the X-Men for any challenges they may encounter. This is the War Room. From here, we keep a watchful eye on the world for... What's that holographic globe? That is the Mission Control Computer. I'll have to take a look at that later. Very good. Now, would you like a tour of the sub-basement, or would you prefer to explore on your own? I'd like a sub-basement tour. Feel free to inspect the rooms. I'll follow along and explain as we go. Thank you. We're rather proud of it. What in the world? This is Cerebro, a machine designed to locate mutants anywhere on the planet. Is this how you found me? Precisely. We were able to pinpoint you when your mutant abilities began to manifest themselves several days ago. This machine must be really powerful. It is indeed. While wearing that headset, a telepath can feel the heartbeat of almost every sentient... Whoa. Yes. And in addition, Cerebro keeps detailed files on all known mutants. From within here, I control battle situations that take place in the training room you can see through those windows. The training room has earned the dubious title of the Danger Room. But the Danger Room looks completely empty. With the aid of advanced holography, any adversary or environment can be created out of nothingness. The Danger Room can simulate battle situations from the surface of the moon to 1,000 feet below sea level. Holographs? So nothing in there is real? Make no mistake, while the enemies in the Danger Room may not be real, the danger certainly is, as the bruises of the X-Men can attest. What's the console over there? That is the Danger Room computer. What's it do? It is the artificial intelligence created by Beast to run the Danger Room. With it, a student... Sounds kind of scary, but... Fun. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Allison, because I would now like to officially extend you an invitation to join us here at the Institute. Your parents hoped you would stay to see if we could help you learn to control your mutant abilities. Uh There's no rush. This is a difficult decision. So for the time being, consider yourself our guest. Feel free to enjoy anything the mansion has to offer. This is the Brig, a highly reinforced area designed to contain practically any mutant. You keep prisoners? No, no, not at all, Allison. But there are those rare occasions when we need to detain an individual before handing them over to the proper authorities. This is our medical facility. We've gone to a great deal of trouble to design equipment capable of handling the special needs of mutants. I...
This is the laboratory of Hank Bacoy, a gifted scientist and engineer. He was one of my first students at the Institute. Isn't he the one they call Beast? Yes, but that code name is a gross misrepresentation of the man. His mind is every bit as strong and agile as his Yes, Allison. What can I do for you? I'm done with the sub-basement tour. I'm not an X-Man. I'm just looking around the war room. Professor Xavier said it was okay. I saw this flashing button marked Muir Island, so I pushed it. Are you having trouble there? Yes, the Brotherhood stormed through here. Oh my gosh! Were you hurt? Me? I'm fine. Who are you? My name's Forge. I bet you've got some kind of mutant power, don't you? I have the ability to build any type of machine. What was the Brotherhood doing on Muir Island? They broke into my workshop and tore the place apart in search of a particular piece of equipment. What did they want? They took some experimental equipment that masks mutant DNA from scanning devices. Why would they want that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Talk to you later, Forge. Anytime. Attention, X-Men. Meet me in the war room immediately. With the aid of Cerebro, I've learned the Brotherhood is en route to Alaska. It appears their destination is the facility for the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, also known simply as HARP. What would the Brotherhood want at HARP? All that facility does is study the ionosphere. That, Cyclops, is what you must discover. The Brotherhood has become extremely active since their attack on Allison, which can only mean something sinister is in the offing. And whatever their plan, we must thwart it before they can set back the cause of human-mutant relations. The Harp facility, eh? This will be an excellent opportunity to test the new cloaking device I've installed on the X-Jet. It should render us completely undetectable to radar. Excellent, Beast. You have your mission, X-Men. Godspeed. Yeah. Time you freaks learn to listen.
You bet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Will do. Okay. Okay. Got it. Let's see what you got. You ain't getting up Combo! Fantastic! Combo! All right. 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 Got it. Let's 
see what you got. Will do. Will do. Yeah. You're going down! Incoming! I'm on it. Okay. Incoming! Heads up! Heads up, people! Just what I needed. Alright. 
Okay. Right. You're going down! Guess you didn't want a piece of me. You bet. Yeah. Loser. Think you're bad, beauty? You ain't worth my time. Combo! Next! 
Okay. Right. Think you're bad, Muri? for playing.